hello again. Welcome to another uh, special edition of the Arts... Uh, the hello and like, welcome again. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep going. Welcome again to the Smile, Create, Repeat art demonstration video. Uh, this is a special uh, episode for the 2015 holiday sketch box. I'm going to be uh, doing some drawings outside for you um, with colored pencil and marker. Um, I was walking around my yard and I thought this little tree here was kind of neat how there's two of them and they're wrapping around each other hugging and I thought that was a good uh, image for this holiday. So uh, I'm going to start by showing you some of the things I've done in my sketchbook just to show you that it's just about practice and I'm um, having some fun so there's some drawings these are some coffee shop drawings of some people I saw these are some quick little sketches I did for the charcoal box last month just to get some ideas out and to see if uh, it's something I wanted to do I also have here's the drawing for the July surprise that I did right in here and here's the one for January of the acrylic paints of my son's Pooh Bear that my daughters must have gotten a hold of to put that little dress on so when you got your um, sketchbox you open it up and you saw that you had this your notepad in there and there was this clip on it now I, I just spoiled the surprise because you can already see what it is so what I did because one of the things is you want to just carry you want to make it easy and simple to carry this around so you can use it when you want to but there's nowhere to put your pencils or marker so I came up with this this isn't brilliant but it's it works just one of these clips you just attach it right there and then you take two pencils slip them under there it protects the points and it holds them in and you still have room if you have a marker or a pen to slide right in the back of the clip then you fold those down and you're good to go so you can just carry that with you these have a nice sturdy back so that's no problem all right let's the sun is going back behind the house, so the shadow is going up on the tree more than I wanted to, so I should have been drawing instead of talking, but... Um, so let's get this drawing started. Okay, I'm just using my color pencil. This can stay on there, but I'm taking them out. And there's lots of different hand positions and if you watch my hand you're going to see sometime probably towards the end i'll get tighter like that but right now i'm just going to be loose and how high do i want this to go i want the top where they come apart to be there so that's that and then that one's in front and then now that one's in front there we go so and this is up to you what you want to do are you trying to you're practicing so this is whatever you, like I said whatever you want to, whatever you think you need to work on or whatever you want to do if you're trying to get the idea you can practice getting ideas out you can practice your draftsmanship which is trying to make this look how you how it actually looks um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of both and capture the light. Oh, I wish the light was lower. But when I first sat down, this, which was just five minutes ago, it's already moved quite a bit. It's way up here where the light is. This is all in shadow. But I'm going to move that line down to here. So I'm going to use what it looks like up top as my guide. So it's shadow, uh, and then it's right here, and then, and it's not straight, it's really soft because that building is 
the house is far back. If the house was closer, this edge would be much sharper. But this is all in shadow. And then there's the big birch tree behind it. I want to get some of that texture. And to get some of the lines on the birch tree, you don't want to draw them, all of them like it's lined paper because it varies, so that'll make it more interesting too. And this goes down, and this is much wider than the little trees. And that goes up, and then to the left it leans over. This is here, that's got a, a knot or something there. But I don't really care about that. But I do care about some of the texture and the way the lines come around the surface of the tree because that'll help show the volume and how it's round. And right up there, there must have been a branch I cut or broke. And that, it does come that way. And that's some of that knot still. So that must have been where there was a branch a while ago. <clears throat> and that is because the tree is changing its direction. Okay. I just put... Um, I, I'm not focusing on the birch tree. I'm focusing on... Or on the big birch tree. I'm focusing on these little guys. So that was just to get an idea. And maybe just some grass here just to show that that's where the base is but now I really want to focus on what this is going to look like and to try to get some of the branches so this one is coming here okay and right here there um, this one here is in front side by side so there's a dark spot right where they're kind of touching and it comes up and it's dark there, and then here, let's see, comes down, and now there's a, a branch that's coming out to the left here, it goes up and over, and this part I'm not sketching, I'm just going a little slower with my line, um, just so I can do it that way. And now this is in front of the, this one. And there is a lot of dark right there because it's behind it. And this is dark back here. But this tree in the back there has a little bit of the reflected light from that white birch where these, branch, these tree trunks are brown still. So this is coming out like this and you want to when you draw these you want to try to make them get a little skinnier as they get away from the trunk because they will and then if you draw these it'll show you that it's in front of this branch that one's right on it so there's more shadow there okay Oh, that's interesting. So now this has a branch coming out here that is growing this way, and then it actually hits the, the big tree behind it. And that's going away, so we've got to shade that side because it's back there. And I can't really see where it comes out. It comes out here. So we'll do, do it like that. And then this has another one right here that looked like it grew and got bent back behind this. That's neat. Interesting. So that shadow again. It's coming there and that. That's funny. So how can I see that? I see the dark up here in the dark right there, and then it comes out. Oops. Okay. And 
And then there's another one that's coming out right about here that's twisting and going up with that, with the trunk. And that's the tree there, so that's darker there because that's behind it. There's a light here, and we'll draw a little, put some shade there. Let's darken this line a little bit. that way and if you shade it if you do it left to right you can try to show that'll help show the volume of the branch oh this is way off this goes here I don't see I, I have a branch coming out to the left here I don't want to put it here because I don't want it to co compete with this line here so I'm going to move it up or down I'll move it down a little bit so my drawing is not perfectly accurate. So I would keep working on it. And this color pencil is nice because you can erase with it. But I don't want to right now. I'm just I'm just keep going. And that's why you draw. If you sketch light, you can then add just press darker with spots so that'll be the right line. So if you made a, a wrong line you can just go in and add the right line in it. Which is nice because it adds uh, the variation. So that's, that's it for that. Oh and that's light there. So I want to try to capture that light and dark that I was talking about at the beginning. Where was that? Right here? Oh, so that's no good right there. So I'm going to really add, make it darker down here. So I'm going in and making it darker there. And now I have to look at the birch tree behind it. And the light, or the, the big tree, when I say birch, I mean the big one. So the big birch has the line of the shadow and light too, and where it is on the little trees is here, but then the ch shadow on this tree is below it, so it's about here, and that line is very soft, so I am going to go in and shade it. And I'm using the side of the pencil because it makes uh, a, just a broader line. And I am going to go up, I, t I mentioned that I didn't really want to shade too much of this tree, but I need to to make this look right. So now I'm just going to go back in and really make it soft. The transition. And I'm going to erase because I went too high. Oof. A bunch of tree stuff just fell in my face. And I'm picking the pencil up a little higher so I get a little more to the point, so it's a much uh, a finer line, more delicate. And uh, dark again. So now that I got that basic value in, yeah, let's soften this edge because it's coming around the tree. So if it's around the surface, I mean, if it's on a surface that's round, the shadow to light is going to be a soft transition. Where if it's, um, well, if there's a sharp edge, it'll be a sharp transition. Like a cube, if you have a cube, there's light on one side, you see the planes shift a lot. So now that I have that done, I am going to go back in. This is cross hatching, But I'm also going along the contour of the tree. Just to add a little bit more value and texture and volume. And you'd want to keep doing that. So now behind the tree is also something I'm not going to work on. I'm just going to focus on this. Ok, 
है so now I'm pushing hard because I really want this these trees that are hugging each other to really be the focus so you can go in and really refine your lines and values. And you're going to want to pay careful attention to when you're on these cylinders where the light is. So here the light is, or the shadows, are on the side. On the left side the light's coming from the right, they're on the left. But the ones that are coming out at you, those are on the right because they're on the bottom because the light's coming this way, so the light would be on the top as it's coming towards you. So this is the branch, the shadow will be here, the light will be here. Whereas when it's over here, the shadow will be here, light with here. Light will be on this side. So while you're drawing, that's what's going to give it the depth and show you the direction that the branches are pointing. So that's that one. I'm going to get up and move over and show you another one, uh, another quick one with the marker. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're back here. Um, I set up a little uh, still life with a, a pear. Um, and this one is going to be a pain because I have it right in the sun. You can see on the picnic table. And that's because I want it to have the strong contrast uh, to really show what the marker is going to do. Um, I'm going to start off with my pencil, um, just to have, um, just because I want to, to get a basic layout of the idea of what I'm doing, and just to have a little a loose little drawing underneath. And I have it over to the right a little bit because the comp part of the composition is going to be the, the shadow that's cast. And uh, it's very, really right on the level. It comes down to quite a bit of a point, this pair does. So that's where the shadow is. It's a long shadow because the sun's low here. We're in New Hampshire in the US. And it should be probably in the low 30s, high 20s now, With usually we have some snow, and it's about 52, 53 right now. I'm sitting outside with a sweatshirt, and I'm actually a little warm. So it's a nice change, but we know we'll get the snow, so. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, so these are just some quick guidelines. This is the back edge of the table because um, you can tell where it, you can't tell but it's, you look at where it cuts through the pair and that's where you use the line and then this space here is the down part of the table the, uh, the vertical plane then the shadows here I'm just going to go in a little bit draw in the shadow line I'm actually going to change my mind I'm going to do something different I'm going to keep using this pencil. And this is part of what sketching is. This is just, I'm doing this quick because I want to capture what I want to capture. So it's dark back here because the table is the plane that's really capturing a lot of light. Back here, is, or there's a bunch of trees and leaves in the ground back there. And then here is just all dark. And there's some lines for the table. I'm measuring here to try to get the angle of the lines. And those. 
so now let's see where the dark darkest part is this side and I am holding my pen way back away from the point because I want the smallest smallest movement of my hand to really move the tip a lot of the pencil because I want to be quick I want the shading to be quick so that and the stem here is the darkest part and now I'm going to go in and refine the edge of the pear down okay and then let's and then the darkest part is here is right where they touch and then it gets dark here and it gets lighter as I go out to get away from it because there's reflected light from the sky from all around so it's really quite light when you get away and it's sharp edge the edge right here is sharp and that gets softer as you get farther away too so that goes oh that ends that's all right goes there but now because this is so bright The highlight on the pear here, right on that far side, I need to make it darker over there so the light looks brighter. And then there's it's dark there. And now I would, this is a very defined, that's called rim light, where it just catches the rim or the edge of the object. So now I'm going to shade right up to that. And I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to add the ink to this too, just to experiment and see what happens. And that has, it's dark down at the bottom. And it gets lighter at the top too because of all the reflected light in the sky. But that is real dark. And that is not light right on that side, so I'll make sure I get that in. Colored, uh, shaded. Okay. Oh, and now I got my pen. So now I'm going to go in and see what I can do. How can I make this a neat image using this? I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. So even where the pear hits the ground or hits the table, it's dark right there. And then there's the reflection of the pear, which goes like this, but then to the left of it, some of the reflected light again from the sky is there. So I have to decide what part do I want to do. How, do I, do I, how dark do I want to make things? So I'm going to make... And you have the point on this brush, so the line, the line weight can vary. So then it's darker here. So how do you make, if you only have, if you have the black marker, how do you make it look not just black shape? You do it like that. Okay. So now the stem. Oh, there's a spider growing a bunch, making a bunch of webs on this pair. So now the stem is black. That is a dark brown. Again, I'm going to vary the light, uh, the line weight. I'm going to vary the line weight. And I 
there. And now, I really want, again, I want that to show, so I'm going to try to make this line. There's a lot of light, light over there, so I'm going to try to make this line really light by barely touching the paper and then coming down a little harder with the brush. Now I'm just making brush strokes. to try to show some volume. And I'm varying them to try to go with the contour of it, but also to add some interest. And that's about it. Now I'm going to just go in and see if I can... Yeah. Well, I didn't mean... Now that I did that, I don't like it. But, I got to keep going, because I did it. So now I'm going to try to figure out, well, how can I fix it Oops. to make it look better? So what I'm going to try to do is make that dark back there, the dark part behind the hair, dark. So I'm just going to keep going. And the edge of the pear, I'm going right up to the line I drew, because that's fine. But the black stem, I'm going to leave just a little bit of white around it from the paper, just to keep it separate. Um, and as you're drawing, you would do that if you were painting. That might be a nice spot to make those um, soften the edges. Actually, I'll do that right there. So it goes into the dark. The dark stem goes into the dark background. And then the highlight on top of the stem would come out and add a nice uh, uh, detail image. Uh, Im detail to the image. And these markers are nice because if you go fast, you can see that the ink doesn't uh, flow exactly the same, but just like you get a little bit of a dry brush effect. So. And I'm going to go back into this shadow and use that dry brush effect. If you go quicker, you can see that, what I did. So there you go. So you can use the, the color pencil um, as your only drawing tool, or you can use it in combination with your, your brush pen, or you can just, of course, draw with your brush pen. Um, and if you look at comic books, um, comic books are always drawn before they're all digital. They're all drawn, even digital, they're drawn the same way. They draw with a pencil, um, either on the computer or a real pencil, then scan the artwork in, and then draw the ink lines with black on top of it so you can do all your your working things out with the pencils so i hope you guys uh enjoyed this video i hope you learned a little bit of something uh, from it and if you just got your um holiday sketch box you can go to smilecreaterepeat.com and join us and we do this every month you get a, a box of uh, a monthly surprise of great art supplies and i do a new video um, demonstrating some of the supplies and uh, a little project you can follow along with um, or just use as a guide. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas uh, or Happy Holidays and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much.